Hello, my name is Sonia Ross and welcome to the weekly Metatron reading for September 1st through September 7th. In this space, I bring through angelic messages from Archangel Metatron and other Ascended Masters and Archangels for women over 40 who are going through a healing, transformation, and a process to grow into greater wholeness within themselves. If you would like a loving and compassionate and wise message for your week, then please stay for the entire video. My name is Sonia Ross. I am a spiritual psychotherapist, an intuitive, and an author. And so I'm so happy that you're here. Please like this video, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. So I've already pulled the cards and I've confirmed with spirit that we have the right ones. So we're going to begin. So I pull seven cards and each card, um, I'll let you know the overall meaning, but it's a cohesive message for the week. So I hope everybody who's watching this video is having a good week. Just kind of settle in, take some breaths, connect with yourself so you can fully feel the transmission of what Archangel Metatron and the Archangels and Ascended Masters are saying to us and to really take it in your body so that you can get the most healing benefit. So the first card we have is the Dimensional Gateway. So this card comes up frequently, frequently, and so that's 33, the Dimensional Gateway. So this card, I shuffled this deck. I'm not even going to go into it. Anyway, this card comes up often. Beacon, shine on. Up, blue, Madonna and mothering. Mother Mary. Priorities, building blocks for your life. Okay. Akashic Records, Evaluation and Review. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Codependency, the key to freedom. Key to freedom. And the cosmos mirrors you. So I'm using the Amanda Ellis Archangel Metatron Self Mastery Oracle. That'll be linked in the description below just so you can look at it. Um, and so a lot of times cards keep on coming over up and over again, again and again, repeatedly. And so the themes that have been coming up for the last few months, and I think that's something that's happening on the planet is the healing of our inner child, letting go of codependency, doing our healing work so that we can, can become masters of who we truly are as multi-dimensional light beings. And so all of that is showing up in the cards today. Okay, and so we're going to begin just trying to see if I see any overall theme, but definitely seeing the color blue very strong and heavy here. Lots of blues. So I'm excited. So we're going to begin. So we're going to begin with the dimensional gateway and invitation. So Archangel Metatron, what would you like to say about the dimensional gateway and invitation? So Archangel Metatron is saying the dimensional gateway is an invitation to hope. It's an invitation to healing, warmth, and, whole, and wholeness. And it's an opportunity to step onto a path that we never thought we could step onto before. And, and this is a path where we can be embraced as the fullest, wholest version of ourselves possible. Having a desire to, to, to be a better version of yourself, a healed version of yourself, Archangel Metatron is saying, that is not your imagination. That is your inner self, your higher self speaking to you. When you feel this calling, don't push it away. Don't, you know, minimize it. That is your higher self connecting with you and trying to let you know what is possible. And so Archangel Metatron is saying you're give, being given an invitation. Part of your message for this week is that you're being given an, inv an invitation, an invitation to, for hope, an invitation for hope, warmth, and healing, an invitation to be hopeful about what's possible for your life and that healing is possible. And Archangel Metatron is saying don't be hopeless. to hold on to your hope, 
and know that you have every right to imagine that your life can be better and that you can have a new possibility for yourself. And he wants you to envision you stepping into a dimensional gateway for yourself, a gateway where the unbelievable is possible for you, where you can be transformed. And that there is an invitation always to be, to step into a higher and higher vibration of yourself. But this invitation is a call and it's a call that many receive, but most ignore because they feel like they've come too far in their journey or they've made too many mistakes or there's no hope for them. And so Archangel Metatron is saying, there is always hope. There is always hope and that nothing is ever lost. So this week, Archangel Metatron is inviting you through the dimensional gateway and giving you an invitation to hope and healing, hope, healing, and wholeness, and that you can attain through self-mastery and focus and intention, he's saying, a level of wholeness and authenticity you only ever dreamed about. The authentic self is not an imaginary place. It is a place that you that actually exists, but you have to step into. So Archangel Metatron is saying your authentic self already exists in some timeline or version. And so for those who hear this message to get today, he's saying, don't lose hope. That version of you does exist and you can align with that version and have that experience as well. And so he's just, again, saying you are not without hope and do not feel lost. And, and he's saying that hope is your beacon of light in the darkest times. If you're going through a really dark time and you're like, there's nothing to be hopeful about or, or you see something or you're still holding on to hope and you're like, maybe this is stupid. He's saying no, even if it's the tiniest glimmer of light, hold on to it. Hold on to it and keep walking toward it because in that light is your salvation. And he's saying in that light is you. In that light is you, a whole version of you, a healed version of you, a version of you that has released trauma, inner child pain and wounding and has stepped into the whole authentic version of themselves that has always truly existed and who you ultimately truly are. So he's encouraging you to have some vision, have some vision, open up your eyes and ask to see things differently. Call on your angels, call on your ancestors, call on your spirit guides who serve the light and call on them and ask for new to, to have new vision for a new perspective. And again, he's speaking to those who are hopeless right now. He's saying, don't give up. Hope is here and hope is here to help you. And, you know, we actually have, an, it's not in this deck, but another deck, we have a, a, we have an angel named Hope. So maybe that's here. That maybe that's who's coming forward, the Archangel Hope. Yes, Archangel Hope is here. She's saying, I am here. And she said, I'm here for the hopeless and the forgotten. She's saying, call on me and I will surround you and I will lift you up. I will lift you up when you feel like you cannot be lifted up. If you're feeling like you can't go a step further, call on me and say, hope, lift me up. And I will come to you and I will lift you up and you'll feel lighter. And, it'll, and you'll be able to tell the, the difference energetically because where before you felt like, oh, you wanted to give up for seconds, you'll feel a momentary lightness. That's hope. And she's saying, call on me and I just keep calling on me and I'll, and I will carry you through. So Archangel Metatron is here and is also Archangel Hope. Hope is saying, I love you. And I want to surround all of those who've given up and lost hope. And she's saying that she sees those who are hopeless and because of free will, she has to watch and she cannot intervene, but she's saying, please call on her. Please call on her. She wants to get closer to you. 
So please call on Archangel Hope. Thank you, Archangel Hope. Mm, beautiful. Okay, so we, is it okay to move on to the next card, Archangel Metatron? Okay. Beacon, 44. Interesting thing here that I'm noticing also. We have 33 and 44. And so both of those are master numbers. So that's just another connection I just made. So beacon, shine on. Okay. Beacon, shine on. So what else would you like to say about this Archangel Metatron? It's kind of continuing that message of if you're in a very, very dark place and you only see the tiniest, tiniest glimmer of light, that is your beacon. That is your beacon to continuing to, to move forward. And that you can let this beacon carry you to a place and a, sp and a space where you can continue to shine on. And when you step into the light of your true divinity and your true self, you will shine on. You will shine on as the master that you are. You may not feel that you're a master now, but Archangel Metatron is here to remind you and all of us that you are a master. Despite what adversity, traumas, issues, you are a master. And he and he's saying only masters are allowed to come here because the vibration is so low and so dense that few others can manage it. And I'm sure, as you may have already heard from many other people, coming to Earth is a unique experience, and that that not that not all choose to do, and that not all can do. So he's saying you are masters. And you come to this planet to learn how to master adversity. And he's saying in the master's hands, adversity can be transformed and alchemized to gold. So don't give up on yourself. Understand that you have a beacon of light in you and that it needs to shine. So to, so to keep shining on. Keep shining on, keep stepping forward, and keep tuning in little by little to the true power of who you really are. And so Mother Mary is always is still here. Mother Mary is still here. Mother Mary is here. I thought she would come up and she did. So this is the Madonna and the mothering. And so in these readings, oftentimes it comes up about inner child healing, which I feel like is really interesting since I'm a psychotherapist. And when I began doing this, I did not feel like, I did not know what was going to happen. But so often, 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 the themes are inner child healing, mothering, and healing our wounds. Especially those core deeper wounds that stem from the childhood. And so Mother Mary has come up before and she's coming forward again. She's saying, I'm here. I love you. I'm here to embrace you. And she always shows that she's wrapping you in her blue, blue cloak. She's here to wrap you in the blue cloak. So now while this says Madonna and mothering, I call her Mother Mary. Yeah. Mother Mary is an ascended master. And she's a master of love and compassion. And she's saying she stands at the, threshold, at the threshold to embrace all children who have been mistreated, abused, and neglected, emotionally wounded, or, and, or had any other adversities affect them in childhood. And she's saying all of you deserve the love of a mother, even if you never actually had a mother. She's here to mother all and love all and help all heal. And she's saying the mothering wound, the mother wound is a deep wound and it doesn't deserve to be disregarded. You know, if you know you're carrying this, she wants to encourage you to call on her, call on her and ask her for assistance because she wants to embrace you and she wants to wrap you in her blue cloak. And she's saying this is her blue cloak of love and comfort. 
And she said, in this cloak, she will hold you in the love and compassion and understanding you didn't receive when you were younger. And the things you weren't able to ask for, you can ask the you can ask them of her and she will give them to you. She's saying love, compassion, understanding, inner healing. And she'll be there to offer you words when you're having self-doubt. She's saying you can share anything with her. And it's interesting. We have a lot of female energy coming forward because we had hope and now we have Mother Mary. She's saying she's here to help you. She's here to embrace you and love you and help you to love yourself. And she's saying that self-love is the antidote to a lot of the adversity that we have on this planet. It is true. That is very, very true. Self-love is the antidote to a lot of the adversity we have on this planet. The insecurity, the feelings of worthlessness, the infighting. She said that is all about self-worth and not feeling worthy. So we project our fears and anxieties out onto others and feel like others must take care of our fears and anxieties. But Mother Mary is here saying, no, others cannot take care of our fears and anxieties. We have to do that ourselves because that's the part of the journey on earth. And she will help you with self-love, compassion, and self-acceptance. And she says, every single person on this planet is worth is worthy of self-love and compassion. Don't let anything that you've been told stop you from thinking that you can receive that. It doesn't matter. Nothing you've been told that wasn't based in love is true. And anything that wasn't in love, she will help you heal. She's here to help you with self-healing and to heal the heart of insecurity. She's saying worthiness, 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 and you are worthy. And she said, you're worthy of love, compassion, and all the love the universe has to offer, which she's saying is tremendous and beyond imagination. So she's saying she's here for you and she's wrapping you in her blue cloak of protection and love. It's a blue cloak of love. She's saying, call on her, please. She wants to be here for you. And next we have priorities, the building blocks of life. Archangel Metatron. Again, so Archangel Metatron is saying, it's time to envision a new, a new standard for living for yourself. Where you are a priority in your own life. And what, once you have laid a new foundation for your life, you can build from there and then take on other priorities. And also, as you see here, the priorities and the triangle are, are built on the chakra system. And so Archangel Metatron is saying, focus on the priorities of each chakra to have, to have them help you align with the priorities of your life. The priorities of your life are safety, creativity, imagination, confidence, love, being able to use your voice and speak authentically, having spiritual vision, and opening up to the higher realms of consciousness and creation. See where you are out of alignment with these building blocks for your life and reshape them and reorganize them so that you are in alignment with your true self and your authentic self. Hmm. Okay. So he's saying overwhelm, fear, and worry are not what's going to help you be in the best emotional or creative space. Worry 
shuts down all creativity and the ability to manifest. So work to silence it through deep breathing, meditation, journaling, he's saying, being in nature, going for long walks, being with your pets, your animals, he's showing me dogs and cats, and just being present in the moment, because being present in the moment sil silences worry and fear. And, in one, and when you're in the present moment, breathe and understand that worry is not going to help in any way, shape, or form. And just appreciate the moment, breathe into the moment, and know that you can take care of the next moment, whatever comes. And that, and that with time and effort and focus and intention, you can begin to build building blocks for your life that, were, that are in alignment with your truth and who you really are. And he's saying love is all around you, helping to guide the way. And he's saying the angels and the archangels are here, waiting to assist and help you. So we, then we have the Akashic Records, evaluation and review. So what would you like to say about the Akashic Records, Archangel Metatron? Okay, so this is interesting. So he's saying some of us, some of you, he's saying, are tapping into the Akashic Records without realizing it truly. And that you're pulling information from the Akashic Records in your dreams. So there may be some that are having experiences where they're getting information from the Akashic Records in their dreams and they're bringing forth like I'm trying I'm trying to um, find the right word because I'm not really sure how to say this. What I'm receiving is that you're bringing forth ideas that are very new and spontaneous, which are unusual for you. And if you're bringing forth ideas that are what kind of coming to you out of the blue, it's kind of because you've dreamt about it. You've gotten the information from the Akashic Records and it's coming up from your subconscious mind when you're awake and then you're like having this new idea and you're kind of like, where did that come from? And so you're having new spontaneous ideas, he's saying. And that's because you're going into the Akashic Records. And as you go into the Akashic Records, you're kind of doing an evaluation and a review. You're reviewing your life. He's saying you're reviewing other lives and kind of trying to see where the old and the new meet. That's interesting. And it's like you're doing a lot. Some of you are doing a lot of work in your dream time of seeing where the old and the new meet. And in your waking life, you're trying to bridge those, bridge those points. It's like you're trying to bridge those points in your consciousness. Oh, so that you can rectify some things that happen in other lifetimes that, that are still kind of, you know, niggling at you or so huge stumbling blocks, he's saying, but things that are not allowing you to get on course the way you would want to. You just feel like you're being held back. And he said, that's why some of you are going to the Akashic Records to review and you're planting the seeds in your subconscious mind and to hope that they'll spontaneously come forward and you can make some con connections about things that you still need to adjust and heal in your life. And some of you are doing this work in your dream time. Yeah, and he's saying many of, many of us are very active in our dream time and we're going to the Akashic Records and he's just showing me a um, huge library and everybody's at a table staring at books and they're like flipping through pages. And he's like, he's saying that's us looking at our soul records. In the hope that we can remember something when we wake up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. The next card we have is codependency, the key to freedom. And so I was listening to something earlier and from an astrologer and she said that in like for this year, a lot of, she, she said it's been showing in like 
the transits for the year, the astrological aspects for the year, that a codependency is actually one of the themes many of us will be have been dealing with this year. And so that I thought that was really interesting because when I've since I've been doing these readings, codependency comes up so often. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. That's not something I really work with in my practice. But when I heard her say that, that's a theme for all of us that's coming up this year because that's something that needs to be healed in many of us, codependency. What would you like to say about codependency, Archangel Metatron? So he's saying codependency is a reliance on that which is no longer good and that which no longer serves. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like we're kind of sacrificing ourselves to stay in a situation where we are most comfortable or most familiar. But sometimes those things that are familiar can become toxic. So he's saying codependency must end so your wheel of life can continue forward in ways that are authentic and empowering for you. He's saying that codependency kind of strangles us. It strangles us of our energy and our vitality. And he wants you to remember this and understand so that you can have a different experience. An experience where you're not being drained of your energy and you're not being drained of your vitality. And if you see in this image here, this is a tree, a tree with beautiful, beautiful roots. But look, what happens when the, root, the when the roots get entangled, when the two tree, when the two tree roots get entangled, they strangle each other. And when they strangle each other, it limits the the vitality that each of the trees can can take in. So he's saying he wants you to embrace your vitality, to embrace the truth of who you are and know that you no longer need to starve yourself of your vital energy and that when you disentangle and you let go of codependency, co you feel revitalized and awakened and energetically. What would you like to say about the cosmos, Archangel Metatron? So he's saying that the cosmos mirrors our every thought and idea. He's saying that actually the cosmos, he's saying, is the window into our soul. It is the window into our soul and our being. So interesting. So this is interesting. So he said, when we look out into the cosmos, he's saying, he's saying we're really looking out into ourselves on our own body and our own nature. He's saying the cosmos is us and we are the cosmos. And the cosmos is our mirror and our reflection of our reality, our thoughts, our emotions, and every intention. Hmm. So he's saying, please take it seriously with what you think. Please take it seriously with what you think and monitor every thought. And he understands this may not be easy for other people. This is not easy. This is not easy for anyone, but it's like a practice you have to develop. But he's encouraging you to begin to pay attention and to focus on your thoughts and not giving in to negative thinking or observing your negative thinking and not aligning with it. Because even if you're thinking about something and you're not taking action on it, those are still energy waves and ripples that are coming from your mind to the universe. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's creating something somewhere, even if you don't specifically see it. But oftentimes you will see the negative, what, the, what that energy creates. Oftentimes you will see what the, what the, the negative thinking of your mind creates in your own life. But even if you don't think you see it in your own life, He's saying just the act of thinking of it sends energy waves out into the, out into the universe that creates a creation somewhere. 
He's saying you're more powerful than you ever realize and your every thought, emotion, and breath has a profound effect. So he's saying, please breathe wisely, breathe consciously, monitor your thoughts so that you can raise your vibration so what you see reflected back to you is the reality you actually want and most prefer. And he's saying that this connection is real. So pay attention to what is happening around you and the ways the world is being reflected to you to let you know where you need to work on your thinking. Your thinking, your behaviors, your attitudes, and what has meaning for you in your life. And he wants to reassure you so that you understand that all is well and that you are on this journey for a reason and that all is well. Okay. Okay. And so we're going to just pull one last card. And this is from the inner, the inner, the interactive cards for inner child healing. And so what we like to do here is just ask if there's any parts of us psychologically that are hidden from us that we need to know about. Is there any part in our psychological nature that we need to know about this week that is currently hidden from us? Is there any part of our psychological nature that is hidden from us that we need to know about? Angels, archangels, ascended masters, please bring it for us and show us in the, in the light. So he's saying you are the light and the light is in you. Mm. Okay. Again, uh, this card has come up before. There's 76, there's like 60 cards in this, in this deck, 60 cards. This card has come up before. Okay. Again, about the inner child, and this is connected to Mother Mary. And she's like, if she's here for, she's here. Can you see this? It's a little girl hiding from a big scary man so mother mary is here for us here for you to help with this wound okay. so just to emphasize the point that mother mary is here to help with the inner child okay so thank you so much if you have watched till the end i greatly greatly appreciate it please leave a comment let me know how what your thoughts and feelings are i love hearing from people um Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting more content around the angels so that we can get to know them better and connect with their energies and, and get all of the love and the healing that they have for us. And so my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a spiritual psychotherapist, an intuitive messenger and an author. And in this space, I help women over 40 through receive through angelic messages, healing, love, compassion, so that they can transform into the best version of themselves possible. So if any of this resonates with you, please stop by again soon and peace.